Gary Wallace, Vader artist since 1991, not 1990. Signed by Dane Marshall, one of your colleagues. Just here at the NAM show checking stuff out. Using the hip maker now instead of the fusion, slightly longer, a bit more of a snap on it. Yeah, real good. Just um, yeah, out there playing with Mr. Tom Jones for a lot of shows at the moment. And uh, my band Mike and the Mechanics, you know, us old guys, Pink Floyd Genesis, you know. The old rogues back in the park again. Been playing these sticks since I was a boy nearly, and that was some time ago. Uh, yeah, from Pink Floyd until now, really. Uh, Think about when you, I can't remember what artists, there's too many. <laughs> What's funny here noticing how much, how drumming's coming back again. I can't help but notice how many drum companies, cymbal companies, stick companies, and everyone's making great stuff. Drums like, they're coming back. It's been a bit lean for a few years, you know. Good luck to you boys out there. There's a business again. Getting into session, but good luck. I don't really know. It's, I mean, as we all know, it's 50% playing and 50% luck, and it really is. You know, it's that thing. Is when you do get the luck, make sure you're prepared and you have put in the homework and you have got it together, your chops together, your mind together, and your destination, what you want to play, where you want to play, how you would like it to land. Make sure that's all in your bag. So when the luck does come your way, you can deliver the best I can give you guys really. Good luck studio. <laughs> the best advice is breathe. <laughs> you know, taking a deep breath and breathe. You know, there's a lot of situations out there where you, especially those multi-artist gigs where you know like you'll be doing like a big Amnesty International show or Prince's Trust or like did, a, did the Queen's Jubilee last year and you are, you know, you're, you've got 10, 20 artists there. You've got 10 minutes to have a read through, pick it up and then they're incoming and you're under fire by their MD and by them and by their management. So it's, I mean, most of the guys in that situation know how to play. It's a question of attitude. Now you actually suck it up and, um, and, and be able to interpret what they want. You know, it's a really, you've got to really listen to what, you know, what people give you and not what you think it is. Not what you think you want to play on other people's stuff. If they give you something, learn what it is and understand what it is and play them what they want, not your version of it, because that's when you're making the record, you're, you're making a version together, that's one journey. But I think in those multi-artist gigs, people come in, they've got very specific things they've achieved on their records, and that's what they want, and giving them back what they want is a great way of making a great expedient, a great experience for everyone, no one's disappointed, they get what they want, everyone's happy, you're not searching, you're really, uh, you're, re you're recreating in that aspect, so, I think that's a, a very good way to look at it, you know, not putting all your favourite chops and all that stuff. Actually learn what the record is, what they wanted to play and how they wanted it to sound and chase that for them. And they tend to be very happy and walk away with a smile on their face and you get asked back. That's always a good thing. <laughs> NAMM show, 2014, the hit makers, making hits as always with Vater. Come and check them out, it's the way to go.